you know, sometimes, um, a lot of times, we can be indecisive. You know, we can we can have this vision, we can have this goal, we can have this dream of wanting to do something. And it's constantly in our thinking, on our mind. And the reality is sometimes we just need to decide, make a decision to decide. Just decide what to do. And the bad part about not making the decision is that you get stuck in the very same thing that you said you wasn't going to tolerate. I know that happened to me sometimes. I could have been waiting on a friend that wanted to move with me because the truth is that, you know, maybe I myself was afraid to do it alone. But most times, especially in a journey of entrepreneurship or anything that causes or anything that requires faith, it requires you to walk alone. And a lot of times, especially for me in my entrepreneurship journey and wanting to be an entrepreneur full time and have control over my finances, I would hear people tell me about all the complaints, everything that they, 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 they felt the same way I felt, you know, and especially those who actually been there longer and has seen such a turnaround in the procedures and the policies of the facility. And then after all their complaints, after we basically expressed all our frustrations, all our, you know, deepest emotions of, and, 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 and the way we feel about the justice system and the society we live in today and the mindset of the co-workers, after all of that, they look at me and he said, well, we got to make a living. What are we going to do? And I always thought about that. And I used to, and now I, I said to myself, you know, I agree with people that says that, yeah, hey, listen, we got we to do what we got to do. I do believe in doing what we have to do. Um, I do believe that we do have to make a living. And everybody needs to be secure in, in their financial uh, stability and, their back, and, you know, and have financial backing. But what if we can not only make a living, but live. And what I mean by that, um, some people are alive in existence, but not alive in living. And that's because they refuse to decide to do something different. They refuse to actually take a different route. Some people don't know. Some people are oblivious in a sense of knowing what else is there. But the majority of the people that I personally met in my own life, they know there is something else out there. It's just, it's not safe for them. It's too risky or they're lazy and they don't want to start over. So it's not just fear, it's fear and I'm lazy. It's fear and I'm inconsistent. It's fear and I can't make a decision to decide. I'm indecisive and when you're indecisive or you're around indecisive people you become or you 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 start thinking inconsistently and you start wasting time and that's the most valuable asset you have to in life itself that's the most valuable asset to mankind is time because regardless if I made a hundred thousand dollars last year or the year before last or fifty thousand dollars whatever i can do it again but the question i have for you guys and and just just the just the yeah just the basically the question i have for you guys is decide to make a decision i can't answer the question of um should you leave your job i can't answer that for you because you know your value, you know your self-worth, you know what you should tolerate and what you shouldn't tolerate. Um, and I can't say, listen, quit your job today and, you know, people have children and they have other financial obligations and then you're going to blame me about looking at a video and then this person on the on YouTube told you to quit your job. I'm not going to tell you that. But decide. And, and even with the, with the decision, you can strategize. Just because you decide to do something doesn't mean it has to be a stupid decision, an uneducated decision. You can just decide to strategize in a different way where the outcome will be different, though you're taking certain things continuously. So, 
for me, my decision was to uh, stay at my job for about 10 years or so. Get out of debt. But I knew I made a decision that I was going to go. I understand you can make money, you can make you know a lot of money, but it, it requires more of my time and in, in an environment that I, I only I only want to be in on a regular basis on a straight eight hour shift. So I had to make a decision to say, okay, I know it has benefits, yes. I know I have vacation time. I know I have the privilege of swapping. I know I have all of that, but I need my I need my peace. I need my mental stability. I decided to decide. I decided to strategize. I decided to not let this job be the end all and the be all. And some for some of you guys, it could be a relationship that you just have to decide to decide on what you're going to do. I just I just personally believe that anything anything whether it's relationship, whether it's, you know, um family, whether it's is is it's a co-worker, whatever, it's a job, career, it's a, it's a school you're trying to go to. Anything that contaminates your peace, your health, is not worth it. So to my people in the entrepreneurship journey, you have to decide to be great. Like nothing is new under the sun. And what I mean when I say that, you know, you might want to be an entrepreneur in affiliate marketing and blogging and, you know, Instagram, however you want to actually pursue your career as an entrepreneur. There's been people before you and there will be people after you that's doing or trying to do the same thing you did. So what I mean that, what I mean by when I say that is that you have to decide to actually be that person to make it. And you might say, okay, well... What's so different about me? Like if I wanted to do this entrepreneurship and you know, what's so special about me? Why would people listen to me? Just because of your being. Not saying that what you're doing physically or what you're doing uh, has never been done before, it has. But when you decide to be great, you decide to be consistent. And what separates you from me is your essence of being, my essence of being, and people would be drawn to you. Whoever would be drawn to you. Think about it. How many singers are out there? And how many singers are actually on top making a lot of money doing the same thing? I mean, granted, some people have um, better voices than others. But think about the ones who don't. Think about the ones who really don't can't really sing that good or don't really have the octave and the range like other, other singers that's making just as much or more. Decide to be great. And with greatness comes a consistency. Greatness comes a di- with, with, with greatness comes a discipline. And with greatness comes a decision. And that's all I got for you guys. You know, um, I just wanted to share that with you because I, I, just, I just feel like it's, 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 somebody needs to hear that. Somebody needs to hear that there's a frustration. I feel it. Um, I heard it. I've seen it in my own personal life. But these are people who are indecisive. It could be out of fear. It could be out of laziness. It could be out of just not wanting to start over. But for the most part... It's them not deciding to decide. Because people, you know, they say insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome. So are you on this journey? Are you in this path and wanting greatness and want a financial uh, security background? And, you know, you, you want to do have control of your life for you and your family? But you're stuck. Decide to decide. Decide to choose greatness. Decide to choose different. But whatever you do, whatever, whatever your goal is, a school, you know, a career path, just decide. And that's all I got for you guys. Like it, share the video to somebody who needs it. And you want to know why I make these videos? Because you're worth it. See you later.